Wow. Where the hell am I? Look at all that Europe. So much. There's a Europe over there. There's a bit of Europe there. Oh, don't look at the Europe, folks. Last time on Resident Evil 7. Okay. Where to start? My name? It's Ethan. Ethan Winters. I have no face. It's been three years since everything happened at the Baker House. That was a fun vacation. I was looking for my wife who disappeared. I got an email from her. Yeah, she was using the Baker's estate Wi-Fi. And of course, that's how I ended up in the middle of nowhere, Louisiana. I found Mia being held captive in a dark basement. And she went kind of nuts, so... Yeah. She wasn't thinking right. <laughs> that's she a good way of putting like it. Kind of wild animal. Later on, I found out that she was infected by a special kind of mold. Oh, you gotta get rid of the mold. I looked all over the house trying to find an antidote. A vaccine, anything. We're all looking for vaccines. I'm with you, bro. People who lived there were already infected. What was left of them wasn't human. The source of the infection was a bioweapon that looked like a little girl. Yeah, that's that fear connection since Evelyn. same guy that wrote the fear games he wrote RE7. Family and was able to treat me as symptoms with a serum. Then in that last boat section, the, the my adventure kind of fell apart, really. Oh, what Chris, Chris is it going to be? Showed up and saved the both of us. Which of the Chris faces? Oh, they pull away and show him like a coward. The coward calm. I really don't want to talk about what happened anymore. <laughs> Stop asking me to relive the trauma. I don't now. want to. It's all over. I'm moving on. I'm moving on to to creepy scarecrows and big hot dommy mommies. Uh, welcome to uh, Village Resident Evil. Um, been looking forward to this. I've been pretty pretty critical of Capcom and their baffling demo rollout for the last uh, month it's it's ridiculous and i really hope they don't repeat it again but uh the core game itself i've always been quite interested in i'm down for werewolves i'm down for a snowy uh european setting and i'm down for you know who uh so i'm i'm excited to start it up and you know i'm gonna say this outright people i'm playing this blind i'm gonna miss shit and you're gonna watch me miss shit, but by the time you're gonna tell me that I miss shit, it's been hours at, or days since I've missed the shit. So there's really no point. Oh, how charming in the Village of Shadows. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. Hmm. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Kids are the worst. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Man bat! Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst. What oh, type of kid would do that? She drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a well, that's some souls born shit right there. Mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself. He coaxed. So she clothed herself. The kid and trusts death. Alright, what's this? Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. Jesus. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. A deep sea fangly fish. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate. Why are you accepting all this shit from strangers? 
Continuing on, she soon entered the forest dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. You've enlisted in the cog. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Mm, I wonder who that's supposed to represent. To be fair, all those monsters, like, they fucked that girl she over, man. Gave, but more you took, she snarled. Whoa. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. Them graphics, though. There. She's asleep. We've defeated the baby. Is with the creepy story. She's only six months old. Oh, I can look around. The woman at the store said it was traditional. A local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Boring. Because she doesn't understand it. Is the game yeah. on? We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. Whoa! You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then... Go cautiously take your daughter to bed. Oh, no, I don't want to hold it. No, no, no. Absolutely. That's not part of the deal. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. What do I do? Oh, this is a bad start. This is a bad start. Hey, Rose. Oh, it's shit. She doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. This is the scariest section of the entire game, I'm sure. Oh, no. Did you say something? Nothing. I'll put her down. I'm gonna accidentally shake her. I know it. Don't shake her. <laughs> let's let's look around a little bit before we do that. Okay, you're okay. You're not dead. Good. That's that's good. That means I'm doing my job as a parent. <laughs> if ever I look down and you're breathing, you're okay. Oh, put on the TV. This episode is shit. I remember it. Like the story makes no sense. Turning that off, Rose. I don't want you exposed to such sloppy storytelling. Uh, play the piano. The peony. So, I know it's like a Resident Evil game, but they keep their house, like, pretty creepy with the lighting. They have it such that they're like, yeah, I don't want to feel too comfortable. I got some nice bread, some nice dip, some pickles. Ooh. Ooh, some delicious baby food, though. Oh, nice little wine cart. Oh, well, yeah. Since you're a big girl, we'll have a drink together, all right? That's a long wait. I mean, we're in Europe, right? Kids, kids are allowed to drink like way, way earlier. Yeah, that's that's my wife. She's preggers. We took a photo of that, to to, to save it for oh, precious. Yeah. What a miracle! Yeah, sex is crazy, man. All right, what's in here? Got some albums. I see significant other hot dog flavored water. Good stuff. What else do we have? Uh, go in the kitchen. She'll probably uh, yell at me to get out. It's, I'm all I'm all hands and feet. I'm in, I'm I'm the opposite of what I should have in the kitchen. I'm not I'm not a big Don't help. Get well, too close to me when I'm cooking, babe. That's intimidating. Is there a lot of splashback going on? What's happy came and see? It's gonna have a bunch <laughs> of hands. What are you doing, Mister? Nothing. She's gonna yell at me that I did. You have a second bar cart. Crazy. I guess this is how the 1% lives. Oh, what's this? Uh, Rose's f food. February. Rice cereal. Banana puree. Sweet potato puree. Boiled spinach cream. Ethan, don't give her any sugar or honey. And no mushrooms. Does add, when you fed her all those mushrooms and she went crazy? Well, not happy, Ethan's. February 2nd, 2021. Rose's half birthday. Holy shit. That's desperate. To find joy? We were celebrating her half birthday. birthday. They grow up fast. Let's just enjoy it while we can. Why'd you, why'd you just celebrate all week? Her birthday week. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I thought this was supposed to be a scary room for a second. What is hop? Yeah, it makes everything by hand. So this stuff keeps piling up. So I keep buying it. 
It's a massive, massive waste of funds. Must be. I don't, like. I don't know what these yahoos do for for their work. It's probably like Ethan's like a hamster stylist and makes like two hundred k a year and some shit like that. And me, it doesn't do anything. Took forever to pick these wipes. Why? They're just wipes. I mean, baby wipes, is baby wipes, right? I don't know. I don't know anything about babies, and most likely never will. I need to put her to sleep somewhere. How about in the dr I sleep in a drawer. Oh, that'd be so sick if you could put her in. And then, it, then a Chivo pops. Ah, oh, missed opportunity. Let's go outside, hey, Rose. Whoa. Keep it down. Just making sure it's locked. It's locked. <laughs> Just, all right, what do we actually say? We can go for a walk. Yeah, it's May in Montreal and no one can still go outside. It's ridiculous. I hate it. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, let's try this door. I assume it's to the kitchen. Can we look at, can we look? No. Man, this is the stuff that came with the frames. The Winters family. I'm worried about them. It, they could at least be frames with uh, pictures of spoons. That'd be a nice reference. All right, nothing's going on here. All right, up, up, up to bed with you, baby. I forget your name already. Uh, Tulip? Lily? I don't know, some flower. What? Oh, are you okay? They're there. It's They're like there. Mom. That book's too scary for you. Yeah, that book was messed up, to be fair. I really like that sequence, actually, how it was animated. It reminded me of um, uh, the cool legend of the Deathly Hollows from one of the later Harry Potter movies, most likely the one of the Deathly Hollow movies. Um, yeah, the Deathly Hollows are beastly weapons. I, I hope they, they're introduced in this game. That'd be nice. So I don't want to put Rose to bed yet, because um, I'm, I'm assuming that that'll lock me out of something. Like, it'll be a cutscene or whatever, so, what the? Why do I even keep this around? I should get rid of it someday. You probably should. Who is that, Mega Man? Remember Mega Man, kids? Alright, no. I guess not. What room is this? <coughs> Gotta do a deep clean before Rose starts walking around. Yeah, if you have to cough as soon as you come into a room, yeah, you probably have to fucking deep clean it. I'm, I'm, it's a good thing I'm bringing this baby in here. Is there anything to look at? Oh, maybe. Uh, curtain closes on the Dolby gas incident. The committee completed their investigation on the 18th into the Dolby toxic gas leak, Louisiana in 2017. Oh, I, Ethan's like, who could have done that? That's crazy. They concluded the deaths were caused by a leak of natural gas. If they always blame the natural gas. Natural gas didn't hurt nobody, never. And, like, what? It's just expected to just assume that natural gas is... Okay, anyway. Jack Baker, 57, and his family, who were, who were exposed to the gas, perished. I read that too fast, and I thought it said they were opposed to the gas. <laughs> Like, like the Baker family just had a bunch of signs and said, no more gas. Ethan Winters and his wife were also believed to have been nearby, but the current whereabouts are unknown. We don't know where they were. The entire area had been closed off by officials who believe it will be at least 10 years before the area is habitable again. Aw, what a happy ending. This already. It was great when Ethan came in and murdered that innocent family. What a hero. Um, so yeah, this is just some... Weird room. I don't know. Uh, their junk room. Their bonus room, some some would call it. I assume there's only two rooms left to check. What is this? A typing machine? Your mama and I love this song so much. Oh, please play Limp Biscuit. Do it! No, no, y'all be loving this shit right here. L-I-M-P. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was sick. That was the best Almost day of my there, life honey. right there. Oh, almost there? So yeah, I don't want to put her down just yet. We're going on more adventures, Rose, honey baby darling. See if this is even uh, accessible. Oh, it's the bathroom, okay. Well, I guess it would, it would stand a reason why they would have a crib in their own uh, bedroom so they can never get to sleep or, or make whoopee, as, as the kids like to call it. Me as medication. She's been on a strict regimen ever since the incident. 
Yeah, that party was nuts. Um, I guess that's it. Nice shower. Uh, nothing there. All right. So yeah, into into your baby cage you go. So they cannot escape. Yeah, that's where we try to sleep. All these fucking toys and shit. I just stepped on a Lego. Hurts. Ooh, that's a cute outfit. It's a little bear on it. I like that. Rose is closed for tomorrow. Well, that's nice. All right, that's the baby cage. The octagon. Um, before we put her down. Ooh, there's a room back there. All right, this is his office. This is where he, he buys his Dogecoin. Uh, February 6, 2021. Me and I had another fight. <laughs> I accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago. She blew up at me. She's crazy. How'd you accidentally mention the slaughter at the Baker estate? We finally settled down in our new life in Europe and can bring Rose up properly. But I still feel like part of me is trapped in that hellhole back in Louisiana. Aw, precious memories. I know Mia doesn't like to talk about it, but can we really just forget everything pretend it didn't happen? Shouldn't we face what happened out there so we can live our lives with Rose without it hanging over our heads? We owe her that much, at least. I know Mia knows this, too. She wouldn't have exploded like that at the hospital if she didn't care. Okay. I love how he makes a super personal email where he, like, talks shit about her and leaves it open. Are you going to sleep in the drawer, baby? We can fit you in there. What is this? Uh, Rosemary Winters. Hi, blah, blah, blah. Screening, hearing, vision, touch, reflex test. All results show no issues. Patient is in good health. Other notes, results for additional fungal pathogen tests will be provided by the BSAA. Really? You just send that Rose straight up. Stri Rose is fine. Good. I reread I re that report. I'm so glad I did. Oh, I like this chunky monkey, though. Hmm? Oh, 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 ah, ah. Well, hi there, little Rose. <laughs> Nobody laughed, Ethan. That completely fell flat on its face. You got to get better material, dude. Examine. A uh, gun survivalist, a heavy... It's not if they really out to get you. I mean, it still kind of is paranoid. Um, by Joseph Kendo! That's super cool. All right. Yeah, that's like aside from Chris being in this game that's probably like the one link to Resident Evil this, this might have boring family photos <laughs> <laughs> like you're never allowed to see Ethan's face go back he's like oh that was such a bad photo where it like completely hid my face I still don't know why they're doing this they're giving him a personality but it's like can't let anyone see my face like, is he disfigured? Is he dark man? It just reminds me he's like a protag and like a hentai. They never draw his face in because it's <laughs> drawing the guy's face in is never important. So weird. Oh, she's having fun she there. Like this forever. Yeah, no, she's not going to stay like this forever. She's going to turn into a horrible, horrible teenager very soon. And then your life will end, Ethan. Can you keep your mother waiting? She's scary when she's angry. I've noticed. All right, into the baby octagon you go. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. It doesn't lock me out, so I did that for nothing. Oh, I can, like, run a little bit, so I could have done it. Anyway, again. A blind run. I, a very blind run. I have literal blindfold on right now. Um, so, yeah. But I'm, I'm super glad I did it. What, what if? What if I, I throw Rose into the bed, just elbow drop her into there, and it just locks me out, and like a cutscene starts? It's a good thing I did. I'm very good at video games, folks. Everyone knows this. Hey, food is out. Mm, can't. It looks okay. Is she okay? Sleeping like a... Gazpacho? Mm. It's tomato it's soup it's served bad. ice yeah, cold. Whoa. It's chorba de legume. It's a local recipe. Wow. You've gone full native, haven't you? Mm. Local wine, too. Ah. But if you're going to keep sulking all evening, 
Maybe you shouldn't have any. I didn't say that. That's really you cruel. Have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast. Hmm. You know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- <gasps> Mia, get down. Or don't get down. Or just Mia. get shot! <laughs> Jesus, that's Robocop levels. The bar cart, no. Oh, okay, it's this it's this bit of the game that they've shown off in trailers. Leon S. Kit Chris Redfield. No! Go men. What? Why? And then Ethan just blacks out due to the trauma, I guess. Go move! No way I'm moving. Jeez. All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. No, no, you go to bed, Ethan's. Rose. Get him out. People are acting very strange these days. I don't know why anyone's doing anything. So this is the part of the game, for story reasons, I'm probably most intrigued at. If it was just plop Ethan down into random country and he just has to fight a bad guy, like, that's obviously part of this. But the Chris stuff, I'm like, okay, I want to see where this goes. No problem. We'll be there. That was the doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look. Look. She's going to be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan. You matter. You just won't. Mia, what are you talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about? Is something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. No. I have to take this. If you're being yelled at, but you don't take a call. Well, you're being yelled at. You not know the first thing about marriage, dude. Jesus. Oh, uh, that's a good segue with the phone. Okay, so this is so Mia definitely knows something uh, is up Jesus. with maybe him and or her as well. Couldn't see what that said. What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? <laughs> this is a secure channel. Sir, this is the Wendy's. Fuck. Alright, well, it's kind of weird that there wasn't even like a crashing sound effect or like a little bit of a cutscene showing why we overturned. Yeah, we obviously really did. Look at all this evidence. <laughs> like a file opens up perfectly. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, that's stuck. Uh, mission objectives. Eliminate target. Recover body. Secure Rosemary Winters and Ethan Winters. <laughs> Why Ethan? Move the two Winters to, to Site C for further investigation. At least two transport officers to accompany. No more, no less. And phone. It's useless. Why? Did just die? That guy got fucking wrecked. Um, 
Can we go in there? Look at all the evidence. This probably tells you the ending of the game, right? What's that over there? Is that the script? It's right there. Um, but I'm happy to have a little really, really dark section in the forest. This is, this is a nice start to actual gameplay. I don't know why, uh, what this flashlight is from is it, do I, do I have it on my hands? Is it pinned onto my, into, onto my titties? Like it was for Leon. Oh, uh, that looks nice. I guess I'm going to go here. The tracks go this way. Oh, I like how he has a slight limp too. Nice little detail. Um, so I, I have like a my own kind of idea, basically a setting for like a horror game, and it very much involves something that looks like this. It's I, I know that's this looks very standard, but it would have to do a lot with flashlights and navigating a forest. And there's more to it than that, obviously. But it mostly came from when I went to uh, a cabin that Liam and his uh, girlfriend and girlfriend's family owns. Uh, they have it on a lake and it was just really spooky when I went out there at night and just like I went on a, a little Matthew adventure with a flashlight and I was like oh yeah this is really creepy so I'd want to do something along the, those lines oh hey do not enter we're gonna enter the fuck out of this I guess crouch stand yeah no I got it um so yeah, there's more to it than that. There's like a secret in the center of the lake and you have to, anyway, whatever. Barbed wire, barbed wire is dangerous. Ow! <laughs> you want to you wanna put some body sport on that, dude. Uh, it, it, barbed wire is bad, kids. I had a run in with barbed wire once and um, I'm not going to expand upon that story. It's, it's bad stuff. Stay away from it. Good stuff, good stuff. I, you can barely see anything. It's like Ethan is very concerned with only pointing his flashlight downwards where his feet are. Oh, great, great. It sucks that there's like a dead raven or crow, whatever you want to call it. And it's not giving up any any pesetas or or grenades or <laughs> there's lots of them. Someone definitely threw a grenade here. Oh, who hangs a bird? <laughs> Is that super? Nice? I think you got him. Let's see. Do I have any other buns? No, I don't. Like that's super petty. We good? What's okay? It's just another one. That's fine. <laughs> ah! uh. All right, we're good. We're good. Yeah, dude, I'd be salty too. It's not fun. Okay, I can't help you. Uh. Wow. It'd be nice if you could screech. The, the screeching could stop. I'm sorry, is my cries of pain too much for you? I'm liking this this bit quite a bit. Cause like that approach to the Baker estate at the very start of Resident Evil 7, that could have gone on for a good deal while longer. I kind of felt that they uh, made that section way too short. Oh, we'll see how long this part is, but considering since it seems like a lot of the game takes place in like the the village, obviously, and uh, snowy landscape, I'm sure they'll reuse these assets quite a bit. Is this coming up on like a body of water? Oh, wow. Okay. Can I get down in there? Uh, too bad I don't have a pistol and I can shoot into the water and something will happen. Dead fish. Always a great sign. Oh, super good. Now, obviously, um, there, there's, there's a, some kind of similarities to RE4 right now. Even if you, like, it start RE4 starts with a a vehicle mishap. You're being transported somewhere, and then things go awry. You get outside, and uh, shit starts popping off. 
So this is not dissimilar. Jesus. It is so dark. I'm looking for anything. Any any sort of a weapon. Like there's lots. Just pick up the pitchfork, Ethan. Get into the mech. Do whatever. No one messes with anybody with a pitchfork. That's a, a, a factor 12 intimidation level. No no one messes with anyone with a pitchfork. Just Okay, what is this? A, filled with cup and ball? What is this? Or maybe they're brushes and rope? Ethan doesn't even comment about it. You could brush your teeth. I don't know. Might be worth it. What if you 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 meet Lady Dom, and and you want you want fresh breath? Vampires get all close to your face and shit. They don't want to smell smell your bad teeth. <laughs> smell your bad teeth. What am I even saying? Okay. It's kind of a comfy bed, all things look, uh, considered. Like the way it looks. Like there's much grosser beds in Resident Evil history. Oh. So there's a white plastic chair here, but there's no Virgil sitting on it, which is a disappointment. Oh. Uh, oh, he opened that real, real smooth. It's like, oh, I'm a strong man. Speaking of him being a strong man, I like that he said he got military training. So that's at least a better explanation as to why Ethan is the toughest, as, aside from having plot armor in RE7. He's just a normal guy. Like, he didn't have any training like a BSA agent or a STARS agent at all. So at least to them saying he had got military training is at least something. Like, I appreciate that. Oh, Jesus. Are you serious? Uh, oh, well, yeah, I guess that's my only choice. Hello? Oh, whoa! Jeez, hi, guys. Okay. Um, hello, Mr. Fantastic Fox. Scary Owl. Go into your basement. Like I've said in previous videos, much rather go into the basement than the attic. No one survives in the attic. Basement though, ba you can survive in the basement. It's not great. Don't get don't get me wrong. I'd ra I'd rather not be in the basement at all. The attic's far scarier. There's a lot of stuff about mushrooms. I think these are mushrooms. Maybe it's. Garlic? Can't really tell. I mean, if there's vampires running around, garlic makes sense, I guess. Ah, uh, everyone everyone has all their jars, you know, filled with all the viscous liquids. Oh, cool. Someone's logo that they sketched on their notebook. On a pigsty. Was that what was that noise? Did that move or did that make <sighs> So a little bit of of RE4 getting Luis Serra out of the uh out of the rockin' closet that he's stuck in, huh? A little bit. How is Ethan gonna open this? Is he gonna be all cautious and shit? <sighs> yeah. Oh little ratty baby. Oh, I miss my rats. An umbrella is a decent weapon. We could take that, no? Okay. What do I know? It's good. This is great. This is good and great. Let's go back up. I assume that's what it's what it's beckoning me to beckon me. Eh. I assume that's what it's beckoning me to do. So he fell down. Good stuff. Aw, oh, poor guys. Like, I have nothing. I All I have, <laughs> despite my military training, all I have is cower in fear. <laughs> I'll cower in fear to you to death. Okay, let's just, let's just get down in there. You. Oh, 
What did all this? Like, clearly, Ethan, shit has gone bad wherever you are. I don't even think that's a... That's a, a thing not to consider. I guess it got lighter out. That's kind of interesting detail. Like, I, I guess uh, Dawn must be breaking out, uh, outside while we were inside here. Because, yeah, he's not even using the flashlight anymore. It just auto-turned off. This is cool, though. Just, it's, it's a good visual. Uh, in a Resident Evil game, a horror game in general, but especially Resident Evil. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I'm really down for the forest setting. Snow. I know that's like less gameplay by not pressing a button to uh, scamper over something, but I do kind of appreciate it a bit more than having to rub your crotch onto something and then have to press a button and then like in the heat of combat at least. It saves a bit of time. It it's kind of smooth. Uh, are we gonna have the title screen here? Look at this. Wow. Where the hell am I? Look at all that Europe. So much there's a Europe over there. There's a bit of Europe there. Oh, don't look at the Europe, folks. <laughs> Uh, very Castlevania-ish. See, see, I when I first saw this visual in like the initial reveal trailer for RE8, I was like, yes, no, very much down. I don't think I can do much here, though. There's Matthew lives over there. OSW lives over there. And that's almost everyone I know that <laughs> lives in Europe. <laughs> Just <laughs> rustling dudes. I wish I do more. I've never been to Europe. I want to go. I'm going to go with, with Crime Tina at some point for like our anniversary or something. Like do Greece, England, Italy. Ow! I only got three nails stuck in my bum coming down that. Yeah, Ethan, do you, do you think something might be amiss here? Anything? He seems a little clueless. That's okay, I'm a little clueless. You can't break a few eggs without breaking a few eggs. I don't know where I'm going with that. Yeah, it's really like investigating the first couple of cabins. Maybe, maybe they're out? Yeah, they yeah, it seems like they might. They might have left in a bit of a hurry. Um, I was about to say, it, it feels like when you're investigating those first few cabins in RE4. Which I haven't even, like, read a single review of this game yet, all, all the way through. Um, but, uh... It seems to say, like, yeah, there's definite inspirations from RE4, but this game becomes very much its own thing. Um, and, and that's good. I'd rather that, since we are pointlessly remaking RE4, and we should be remaking Code Veronica. Just saying. Ooh. An easy to pick lock. Oh. Do I, is the, there must be a lock pick somewhere then, right? That stands to reason. Well, uh, let me check this. I don't have any, I don't know, yeah, no, nothing. Uh, sort of the crafting, key items, family photo. Aww. Treasure. Ooh, treasure. Gots to love my treasure. That's definitely another RE4 component. I feel like I might have... Maybe I need to be, like, crawling in my skin. These wounds, etc., etc. I don't, I don't want to miss a lockpick if it's, there's, like, a thing right here that I can do. Oh, that just auto opened. Fine. Well, because I got near it or whatever, but. Mm, anything I miss, like a door or something, you know? It's usually stuff on barrels or a box. Where'd the horse go? Yo! Not bad! I like that. And whatever that implies, that the horse got up or someone dragged it away, I'm down for either of those two scenarios. Uh, let's just look around here just in case. Again, you never know when like a little prompt will show up. 
Oh, this is a whole other path over here, but yeah, let's go through this door just real quick. I really want to figure out that lockpick. Because I don't think this is the type of game, like, it's not open world. I can't come back to an area once I've loaded out of it. Well, anything. Some needles, great. Feeling good about that. Someone's definitely walking around outside. Okay, this is a whole other area, Jesus. Okay, no. Let, let's go back. Let's go up here. It might just all circle around in on each other. Oh. All right, this is our uh, Silent Hill. Oh, the road is out. Oh no, can't, just can't clamber over this. It's a can't squeeze through that, just, mm. No, I, no, I really don't know where to go. Holy shit, this place is way, but this isn't even the demo. I did get to play, oh Jesus, I did get to play the, the, the first demo, but you know, I missed the second one because I had shit to do uh, and I could not download it because uh, I was a little busy. There is a lot of, oh, okay, well, what's in here? What is this even doing here? It might be a mass produced monkey, dude, you don't know. You do not know. <laughs> but the first demo that I played, like, it, it was in a section that looked like this, but it wasn't the exact same layout. Oh, maybe something in here. Something intimidating about a ha uh, an outhouse door that simply will not open. There's, there's an intimidation factor there. Anyway, I did, I did give the disclaimer that I, I ain't gonna find everything. I'm gonna miss stuff. Really needed a flash grenade to throw down on these crow bitches. Okay, well, definitely need bolt cutters for that. If that's at all possible. Uh, maybe something in the well. Sending my love down the well. Oh. This needs some other kind of item. Wow, there's... Okay. There's more shit to possibly get here. Alright, this is... Yeah, I already came through here one way. And I, yeah, I looked, uh, looked inside. Saw this outside. Um, did not go in here yet, though. Just a bunch of hay and blood. Our two greatest exports. <laughs> what? So there's there's really nothing in here either. M maybe maybe we will come back here when we have items. Cause I I don't know. It's it's hard to actually tell. Cause it's still lockpick. Uh, there's there's that. I can't go through there. So there there are some hanging heads. That's that's our next logical place to go. Cause my initial investigation has not given me too much. Already went down here. But we need to for we need to forge ahead. I'd like to think that when you're in the general village section you might be able to go back, but once you've moved up to the castle, then you're not. And it's like goat heads too. The most gross of all heads. Like, I'm not a fan of goats, so make me slightly uncomfortable. What happened? But they, they didn't deserve this. Well, what happened? <laughs> yeah, I mean, the whole thing with your heroes and your Resident Evil games, it's like, aside from... Oh, really? The graveyard, the workshop, the ceremony site. <laughs> Come and stay at beautiful Europe made up a stand. Um, 
that like when I play a Resident Evil game, I tend to want to play as like a cool secret agent, either in BSA, stars, whatever. Someone that's a little bit more capable than like every man. I get wanting to think you need to put every man as your protagonist, but I don't think it's a hundred percent needed. Okay, so there's certainly stuff over here. Locked due to missing homeowner. Okay, well, the real estate market must be very poor. You can't even move this house. Look, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's locked. Well, this is clearly something I can come back to. So that's fine. That that at least lets me know, like, because it looks too important. Maybe it's not. Maybe it just has, like, an upgrade or, or whatever it is. But what is this? Uh, I don't know. Ma masonry? I don't, I don't understand anything. But um, since there's a light source here, folks, it always lets you know this is where you're intended to go. Yeah, but would I like to play as Billy Cohen or would I like to play as Ethan Winter? As Billy Cohen, please! Like, I know he's mega dead. Give me this, give me this. Knife, knife, knife. Get the knife, get the knife! There we go. R2? Nice. R2 and block. Okay, that's all I got. What do you got in here? Uh, first aid med. Let's do the, let's do the crafting. No? Wait, I, no, I actually need a herb as well. I only have the chem fluid. Why can't I just eat the herb, though? Just stuff it in my mouth. That 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 was good enough for Star's agents? Oh. Did they just run out that of That looks good. Lick the ladle, lick it! Lick it, lick it, lick it! No? Boo! Coward. All right, well, something's obviously over there. Let's look around just a little bit. Okay, no, nothing really to look at. All right, what's behind door number one? Or psh, curtain number one? No! no, no. no. Friendly. 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 <laughs> Who are you? Who sent you? Big American friend. There was an accident down the road. And... What's going on? Oh no! They're coming. Who, Who is... the chosen one? What the hell was that? Do you have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No. no. Why would I? I have a knife. I can throw it really hard. Take the gun. Take it. Take it. This guy's most likely getting killed. Like. Either here. There's no one even there, dude! Hey, are you listening? Hey! <laughs> oh! There is nothing I could have done. What the? Nice. There's, a, there's nothing I could do, unfortunately. Cool. What are we looking at? What? Oh! <laughs> Dead body? <laughs> really? Jesus! Was that a QTE I missed? What the hell? Fuck! Oh wait, sorry. Not fuck. Whoa! This is this is a werewolf. It's not a swearwolf. Okay, are we fighting now? Are we doing this, bro? Do you really want to no. fight me? Do you want to catch these hands? Oh, fuck. Okay. Whew. What the hell? Oh, I like that reload animation. That looks slick. Can I go through here? Examine? 
Uh, family photo. No, that's not going to help. The family photo is not going to help. Um, I need some other type of item. Definitely need bolt cutters or something. Can we go back in here? Um. So yeah, I'm 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 liking how this is starting. The demo was kind of weird because it obviously started like in the middle of of something, uh, whatever encounter you want to call it. But uh, I I'm, I'm enjoying the ramp up. Ooh. There you go. And bolt cutters. Well, can, can you buy bolt cutters just like in a store, like in a hardware store? I don't know. I've never really seen one before. But that implies certain things, bolt cutters. Like, your finest bolt cutters, please. What are you using the bolt cutters for? Your finest bolt cutters, please. Ooh, more chem fluid. Yeah, that looks good. Real good stuff that you're But Ooh, there is my herb. It implies you're breaking in somewhere, you know? I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, I can make gunpowder with gunpowder and rusted scrap. That's how that works. I'm crafted. Um, so then, yeah, I've got one heal, or basically two heals. First aid, med, first aid, med. I think it's R1 to press, but I don't know if I got damage there. I feel like I maybe didn't, but I want to press the button and waste one. Until I'm sure. I mean, it does show that I'm fine, yeah, so... I don't need to be <laughs> too scared. That's a classy chamber pot, right? This It, it makes it, like, advanced chamber potting, because it's swinging on a chain. That's got to put, like, an upwards difficulty swing on that. <laughs> But yeah, I'm, I, okay, well, I found the Baker estate, like, interesting and stuff, but there's something about this that's like, yeah, yeah, it's clearly RE4-ness in here, but uh, there's something about this. This is starting off really strong so far. So I could go back, could I not? Like, I don't have to go here if I don't, well, can, can I actually go back? Because I came in through a different way. Because now I have the bolt cutters, I should be able to open something else. Which way did I come th through? Because this was a hole in the wall. No. Maybe I came through here. Yeah, I did. So this is blocked off now. Okay, I guess I can. Unless I can go this way? Maybe. No. Okay, trees say no. Big zeros. Unless I can, like, go under there, but I doubt it. Alright, it's blocking me out. Damn it! So all that other stuff, do I miss out on that? Or maybe something unlocks later. I'm, I'm thinking too much. I'm thinking... That's my problem. That I think too much. <laughs> uh, no one will believe that. Um, light source there, so let, let's, let's head that way. Good stuff. Scratchy, creepy radio. Classic. Before we go there, anything on, on the side path? Nothing useful over here, really. I saw from the other side. Okay. I thought, like, ammo or something. How much do I have? Like, 12 bullets. I mean, werewolves, like, they're clearly not werewolves, like, in the traditional sense, don't need silver bullets and whatever, or blow them up or kick them in the nards, whatever you want, but they have an infection that is like lycanthropy. They all love their saber wolves, their John Talbanes, their underworlds. The, uh, who's a character in Underworld? I don't know. Kate back and sell. It's all it's all I know. God, that that fucking underworld game I played was so bad. Hey, what's this? Handgun ammo. Thank you. Whoa. Fucking gross. Yeah. Okay, the prompt for here is like really weird. Nothing. Not even the top forty. You can barricade doors with shells. Why don't we do that now? Why don't we just do that now? Why? Because what's popping off? Oh. 
What's popping off? What are you, chem fluid? Anything else over here? No, okay. Da 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 da. When I popped off. <laughs> oh, bastard! Give me that though. Give me, give me. <laughs> okay, I, don't, I thought that was a guy like entering the room. Is this a cabin scenario? Are we doing the cabin scenario? I'm down. I don't mind. What are we doing though? I'll do whatever you want, just... <laughs> okay. Up and down. No one up here right now. Damn it. Well, what is the solution here? Like, are they getting in? Oh, I yes, they are! Oh! Wait, what are you? Oh, I stole his money! That has to be damaging to him. Like, emotionally? I killed you and I robbed you. Oh, yeah, it's totally over. Music has swelled down. Radio again? Hello. If there are any survivors out there, come to my. Come I'm to a my survivor! Near the fields. Survivors? That's perfect! I'm gonna make it! I'm a survivor! I'm work harder! What am I doing here? Like, oh, Rose, right. <gasps> <laughs> There's so much like hand porn whenever Ethan Winters is involved. There's a lot. There's a lot. Um, I reloaded, right? Yeah, I did. Cool, cool. I hear a lot of growling. I'm into that. Okay, no, maybe not this way. I think I think I have to go back through here in a different. Oh wait! Oh, they knocked this down. Cool. I like that. Oh, hello. Okay, not that way. That seemed like a poor way to go. This is also a poor way to go. Anyway, I chose violence. Uh, is is our is shit going? Like, have we started? We we have. Okay. Why does it keep saying gunpowder? Okay, I guess I must have been just on the floor. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. Daddy likes. Okay. Okay. Now it's time to fight. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what is my objective right now? Is this loaded, by the way? Oh. Flower bags, a cloud of cover. Right, right. I remember that from the demo, although I didn't use it, because I was like, what type of warrior uses flower bags? But it is neat. I, I have been seeing a lot of flower, funnily enough. Oh, shit. Well, whatever. I'm protected by the great. The grate will save me. Flower bay. Oh, what? With the arrows, really? Okay, let's let's get out there. Maybe here. Again, another light source, so I assume some type of safety. Huh. Oh. Yeah, more, more, more of that, please. What is... That sounds like a cleric beast. Like, straight up. You know what? You know what? Let's, let's, let's do this. Let's do that. Str strategist! I don't even know if I kill him. Pick that up. Uh. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, let's let's reload. Reload, reload. Um Crystal Skull? You don't just throw a crystal skull at me! Treasure? Oh, it's a treasure. That's what oh! Okay. That's fine. I've already had a nibble taken out of me today. Oh, that's it, huh? Oh, wait, I, ha I can craft more. Okay, I'll craft more. I'm liking this. Ni nice and tense here. Crafted. Now, oh, wait, can I can I reload from here? Please tell me I can. No, I can't. <laughs> You know what? Sure. I did get hit once, so. Where are we going? Oh my god! I was not that cleric beast thing was totally a thing. How how about how about we don't go here? How about get out of my way, please? Thank you. I definitely needed that. Let's get out of here. Let's go over this. Oh, Jesus. I was gonna leave them in circles. I feel like that's that's a good thing to do. There's no way out of here, actually, so maybe not do that. That was a, that was a... Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a few hits. Probably. Oh wow. Okay, he just did one. Wait, what? Oh, this has to be a cutscene, right? Whoa! That's red. Jeez. It's old man McGucket. There's always a big bruiser with like a hammer. Ever since what? Like basically RE4, RE5. How very father Gascoin of you. Huh. Where's everyone going? Bingo? Very, very the village from Resident Evil 4. Oh yeah, just wrap a bandage around it. Yeah, he's got a cool Ninja Turtle hand. <laughs> ah, it's the old, uh, old uh, witch lady. This has to be where the demo starts, the first demo. Because it started with you talking to her. Wow, that was a fun, wacky adventure. What other troubles will Ethan Winters get up to next? I guess we'll see.